Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Your boy Jimmy Lee out here in Acres Home, Texas. Uh, had to come home for some personal business to deal with my mom, but also my brother sold me the F-350. We just take a look at it today. I've been watching it for about two and a half hours. Uh, trying to hurry up and get finished with it. We got a storm getting ready to brew in and my brother's getting ready to pick me back up. We got it here at a friend's house, which is close to the Ford shop, uh, Ford Super Duty shop that I got to take it to. But uh, look at that storm that's on the way. It's real dark. I ain't got long. Uh, I've been washing this truck five times. He had it parked up under he had it parked up underneath a pine tree. And uh, the deal was he'll give me a good deal because uh, he's moving. Moving to a farm and it had been twice the amount cost to tow it from there, from the shop. But we got a friend who uh, ride horses with us who gave us a good price in towing. That's a Ford. Let's get you a better shot. Uh, guys, it's not. As clean as I want it. Like I say, I'm trying to hurry up. My brother's picking me up. I can't be here long. Uh, he's picking me up, taking me back to the country. But uh, the agreement was with the person who lives here. I would clean it up some so that uh, it's not looking like junk. This is a 1999 Ford F-350 Super Duty. It's clean. You know, I'll pop the hood in a minute just to... Go on the inside, uh, wipe, wipe the, all the doors down, trying to get, had a lot of spider webs. Oh my God, a lot of spider webs. As a matter of fact, I tried to sweep that floor and you see the spider webs, they probably even laid eggs. That's going to have to be taken up. See where the CB was. You know, it's not pristine condition. You know, the, the armrests, uh, Seats got some wear and tear. I'm about to show you that over there. You see uh, some panels are missing. Headrests, dirty. It's 1999, people. I mean, I know I'm going to get some comments, but it's a 1999. See here, the seats are torn. I washed the floorboards there. Once again, I'm going to have to... I am going to have to... Uh, see, got some scratches right there. There's a work truck. It's what we call in Texas a kick-up truck because we work them. We just, not only we look pretty, but we work a truck. Oh, wow. I just popped that open. Now, that's a big old bug. I don't know what kind of bug that is. Let me get a look closer. For all you who may not know what kind of bug that is, let me know. You can see where, I guess he was about to do an oil change. Uh, oh, there's the panel right over there. Okay, see it's some leaves. I mean, look how big that is. My goal is to keep it stock. Uh, he says all the fuel injections need to be changed in it, but I'm not really sure. Guys, I have been cleaning this truck for two and a half hours. He's called me twice, ready to pick me up and take me back. But I really want to get it clean. I just don't want junk in front of people's homes. My thing is to put a TV up there, a small TV, uh, cell light radio, uh, uh, cell light radio, GPS, backup camera uh, in it. I hadn't got a chance to clean the back yet, as you see. See the spider webs. Uh, guys, for those who know me, they know I'm very fairly about cleaning and putting tools back in the proper place. Well, my brother isn't. <laughs> As you see, um, hey, but God bless him for, I mean, he gave me an awesome deal. Uh, it, are, it has a gooseneck hookup. Uh, it was probably already done. You see there's a trailer hitch that needs to go on the back, back of it. That's the airflow sensor. And I don't know exactly. Y'all hear that thunder. So I ain't got long. I was waiting, trying to get everything clean before my brother come. And uh, before he come to pick me back up, but uh, apparently, I mean, look, these wheels still got good tread and not dry rotted, not, I mean, that's good tread. I mean, 
all the marker likers marker lights are still on it you can see where look at this you can see where just sitting under that tree in the magnolia woods here in texas didn't do it any and you can see along here see the markings work truck markings somebody bagged into something he's had this truck for about two years yes that is a bra strap that is my brother uh <laughs> and for those who know my brother uh i decided i wasn't gonna show it but i went to show up underneath the underneath this very clean uh for all those who know me know i like big women i don't think i ever dated anybody that could fit in something that small but uh yeah you can see that's very clean up underneath mud flaps very new tummy Vaughn, I don't know where that dealership is, but it is a Texas dealership. I remember hearing about it. But no dents other than this here. Markings back here. All plastic railings all the way around. Same with this tire. Very good rubber. I hadn't got a chance to clean this side because I'm against the woods over here. The West Texas woods. Got to watch where I step. It is snake season. Uh, very good looking truck, guys. I mean, good lord. I mean, awesome looking truck. Let me try to. There we go. Awesome looking truck. Sorry about that. For the deal I got, I mean, he showed me love, love when he gave me this truck. And I'm going to give him a shout out. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, for the love. He knew I needed it. Uh, I still got that lemon of a Chevrolet. He's trying to convince me to move the duck forward. But uh, everybody I know who has muscle cars, they pull them with Fords. <laughs> they don't, not too many of them have Ford Classic cars, but they pull them with cars. Like I say, guys, this needs to be detailed to death. Uh, these seats need to be taken out. That carpet and you can see right here, this is a good point of it. You can see the headliner. It is failing up front. He got even thumbtacks. I'll get you a close of that in a moment. It needs to be detailed to death. But for what I paid for it, it's an awesome, awesome deal. See right here? That's just what driver wear. You know, from when you're getting in and getting out. See here? That's that panel we saw in the back seat. That was missing, I showed you earlier. Uh, steering wheel. Uh, see where the thumbtacks are holding the headrest and headliner in. Let's see how many miles this thing's showing. 300. Uh, let's see if I can get closer here. 312.99. Good lord. I think it may need a new engine. <laughs> a rebuild. <laughs> Let me pop the hood for you guys. Everything is underneath the hood. That's what I really, really want to make sure I shut that because my brother be coming soon. I don't know how much longer I got to film. Look at the bumpers. Hit pause right quick. Okay. Now I got the hood open. Y'all see the that's one one battery here two batteries here huge batteries you see where my brother he likes to do stuff himself uh, he owns a trucking company so I mean he he does know about diesel but uh, you can see where he took the valve covers off uh, I, you see where it's wet because I've been washing and trying to clear some of the I don't want to make sure we don't take any snakes <laughs> to this person's home who's letting us keep it here uh, you can see he took the air cleaner off uh, hadn't got a chance to get a chance to work work with it yet but you know see where those leaves sitting there get those off because that's going to irritate me if I leave those there but yeah just the basic truck uh he said he think it's the fuel injections uh 312 miles i think it may need a new re may need to rebuild some stuff you ask me 
at 312 miles. But, uh, old Ford sticker there. See, part of it's missing. You can see it's been, had a little piece, flap guard has been cracked. Leaves, oh, that's irritating that crap out of me. Up top, just basic, no dents. Well, that's what I got. Uh, I know to death everybody's gonna ask, What did I give for it? What did I give for it? What did I give for it? It was one of these situations where he had to move it right now because of him moving, and uh, deal I couldn't pass up. I wasn't gonna say because I know the wife would be upset. But I gave uh, $2,000 for it. That's it. I waited to the end of the video to tell you. I gave two grand for it. I had to tap into a whole lot of reserves because I really didn't have it to give. But it was a deal I couldn't pass up and I knew the truck was in good condition. No dents. If I had to rebuild the engine, so what? I put five grand in the engine, and uh, I got a good truck. There is, I do want to show y'all this. Some of you may have saw it real quick. I couldn't get in the middle. I got to get, wipe that dirt off. That's going to irritate me. There is a crack, two cracks, right there in the center. But, I mean, it's nothing, you know. I know they got companies that can fix that I don't know what the DOT regulations are all the market likes up top all right YouTube that's it your boy Jimmy Lee on that f-350 super duty I told you all I got you know I, I like to be truthful darn good-looking truck excuse me damn good-looking truck I want to look once again thank my brother for allowing me to uh, have it he could have easily sold it sold it made his money four times over but good looking out thank you D love you I mean hey hey guys those who are 40 40 and over go to your doctor get your test get your checkup your boy Jimmy Lee hollering at you later